Today we're going to be looking at this article about people who don't experience an internal monologue. So do you guys have like thoughts of words in your head? Do you think about things before you say them or do they just come out? Also, I want to know, do you guys think in video or pictures or just words? So this article is called, here's what it's like to not have an internal monologue. So take a second to sit in silence. Is there chatter inside your head? Is it relatively quiet in there? There's a conversation making its way around TikTok that's about the inner voice or the lack thereof. Some people have a chatty internal monologue that narrates their life, while others have a quiet, serene inner landscape. Like, imagine these people that don't have this internal monologue, they're like meditating all the time, you know? They don't have to sit there and try to meditate or try to relax. Imagine how relaxing that would be. Like, you wouldn't have to worry about anything. Like, how could you worry if you don't have an internal monologue? Do these people live longer? I don't know. Are they NPCs, like non-playable characters? Do they have consciousness if they don't have an internal monologue? Or are they just like a robot or an AI reacting to stimuli without a viewer, you know? So folks with the internal monologue simply cannot imagine not having one and vice versa. As someone with an inner monologue, I fall into the first group. My inner voice mulls over problems, narrates my day, assesses situations as they're happening, uh, pulls up funny memories, and it's been that way forever. I mean, me too. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comment section below, though, what you guys have. Are, do you have an internal monologue or not? Yeah. There's me, the person who talks out loud, and then there's the other me, the little voice that exists behind my eyeballs. My inner monologue is there while I work, walk, and go about my daily life. And it's pretty okay with that. It's what I'm used to. In fact, I don't know what I'd do without her. So after seeing a bunch of these TikToks, I asked my friends, if anyone else has an ongoing internal conversation, and I expected everyone to immediately agree, but half said they experienced the same kind of brain dialogue as me, while the other half didn't know what I meant, and were equally shocked that others have an inner voice. We rapid fire voice message back and forth in an attempt to understand each other's opposite per perspectives to no avail. Like, it just blows my mind that there's people that don't have an internal dialogue at all, though. They have to be, like, just looking at it differently, right? It turns out it's actually really tough to explain your inner experience to someone, especially if they have the opposite way of thinking. This is why TikTok is asking the question, does everyone have an internal monologue? Here's what the experts say. An internal monologue or dialogue, narrative or inner voice, refers to the thoughts that run through your brain, says this person, licensed clinical social worker. Having an inner monologue is like having a discussion with yourself inside your head. She tells Bustle, it includes asking yourself questions internally reacting to what people say and reflecting on experiences. It also often uh, coincides with a vivid mental imagery, which can play out. So here's, here's something that's going on right now. I've got internal dialogue going on in my head while I'm reading this. I was thinking about something totally different. And sometimes that happens while I'm reading. And it really distracted me to the point where I could no longer read out loud. Now, I'm pretty good about silencing that inner dialogue, that inner monologue. Um, 
usually, but occasionally I'll be making a video and I'll be thinking about some other video that I need to make. I'm thinking about my skateboarding channel. I'm thinking about skating outside right now. I'm thinking about a lot of different things and that interrupts me while I'm trying to read this out loud. I'm thinking about other things. That's something I need to work on. Okay, so it often coincides with vivid mental imagery, which can play out kind of like a movie. So there are people that cannot picture things in their head. So try to picture an apple. Do you see it full 3D like an apple should look? Can you picture it in your hand? Or is it black and white? Is it in color? Is it 2D? Is it 3D? Or can you not picture images at all? Do you just hear the word apple in your head or just think of the word apple? You know, there are people in every single different situation I explained there. And they can't cross over. There are people that cannot picture things in their head. Which, I don't think there's a lot of guys like that, but I've talked to a lot of girls that have that issue. Okay, so the inner voice is not just self-talk, says Dr. Felicia Presley, LPC, a counselor and a teen wellness expert. While it might include your opinions about yourself, it's mostly a casual dialogue and it isn't necessarily positive or negative, she explains. Folks with inner monologue might also talk to themselves out loud as a way to verbally process something. My father always did that growing up. I know he has an inner monologue. I feel like these people who don't have the inner monologue might not worry as much. Like for me, I'm worried while I'm making this video, I'm literally talking about my own insecurities in my head while I'm trying to read this out loud. And it's, it's kind of, it fights with me when I'm reading out silently, I'm fine. But when I'm reading out loud, sometimes I have so many thoughts going on in my head about different things that aren't what I'm reading. Uh, it's weird. It's like there's two different people talking. There's the one that's reading this out loud, and then there's the one that's talking about something totally different inside my head at the same time. Do you guys have that problem at all? I know there are other people that do have that. Or just feeling hyper aware of the inner workings of your mind. If you don't have an inner monologue, there's no chatter in your head. It, it might show up sometimes, but for the most part, your mind is quiet. It can feel like you aren't thinking about anything. That's a lot of guys are like that though. They, they go through a lot of the day without thinking about anything. Ugal explains, instead of experiencing a voiceover or narration, you take in information, but you don't really think about it. A person without an inner monologue isn't constantly imagining their next move in their head, uh, Presley adds. Instead, they just kind of do it. I can relate to both of these in a way, but I definitely have an inner monologue. It's tough to perfectly explain each perspective. The human experience is complex uh, after all, but you'll likely know which group you fall into after hearing about both. If you aren't sure, pay attention to your thoughts. If you find yourself talking in your head about what you're doing or thinking, then it's likely that you experience an inner monologue. As someone who has an inner monologue, I am completely amazed that some folks have quiet brains. But the opposite experience is equally mind-blowing uh, to those who don't have internal chatter. You know? Uh, somebody on TikTok made a video about how they don't have an inner voice, saying that they just literally can't see anything in their mind's eye. If you told me to think of an apple right now, I close my eyes, I would quite literally just see blackness. They note that their TikTok, uh, they, they note that on their TikTok. Uh, they thought the whole inner voice thing was just from the movies and worried that they were alone in their lack of mental chatter. But as it turns out, most people don't have an inner monologue. According to research, only 30 to 50% of people have inner monologues, which means up to 70% of people don't have a talkative brain. And the thing to keep in mind, um, no pun intended, is that 
it can vary from person to person, says Oogle or Ogle or whatever. <laughs> and an inner voice could become more or less intense throughout your life, depending on your mental state. If you're super stressed, for instance, it'll ramp up. Another study fi found that it's possible for people to experience a mix of both inner speech and thought without words. Okay, thought without words. What does that mean? You guys know? <laughs> what is thought without words? Oh, well, so I guess it's like telepathy, maybe? You know how you can... They say that <laughs> entities will communicate with you telepathically uh, without words. And you just have a feeling? Maybe you just think in feelings? Can you think in feelings? That's possible. Um, Splange, which is a lot of lack of dialogue. Uh, with large individual differences, some never experience inner speech. Well... Others did so in 75% of their samples. Uh, she explains, neither, uh, neither way of thinking is wrong or bad, by the way. Presley says, it's okay if you have an inner monologue, and it's okay if you don't. It's just the way some people process information and language, she said. The reason why we all process things differently is super sciencey and complex, but can be related to the brain structure and personality. There's something called an aoralia <laughs> or the absence of auditory imagery, uh, which may explain the lack of inner voice, Ogle says. People who have inner monologues may also be more naturally reflective as they can consciously observe and examine their thoughts thoroughly. She adds, people who don't have an inner monologue may be better at staying present at the moment without experiencing any distractions internally. Still, it can be helpful to become aware of your inner dialogue and how it affects you, according to Ogle. This can help you gain insight into yourself, Try meditating as a way to get in touch with that tiny voice inside your head. That's the end of C. I think that's it. These are just ads. Okay. So what do you guys think about that? Do you guys have an inner dialogue? Do you guys meditate? Is it helpful to you guys? If you don't have an inner dialogue, is it just like meditating all the time? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm really interested in this. I'm also interested if you can see images or just words in your head, because I can see both and video. I can see like whole movies inside my head sometimes, so. Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mostly do uh, camera stuff on this channel. So if you like that kind of stuff, scroll through my channel, check out my other videos, and hit that subscribe button because i got a lot more videos to come. By the way, this is filmed on the A6700 with the 11mm f1.8. So, And you can see my microphone. It's literally in the shot. I didn't even think about that until just now. But thanks for watching.